Got a low tone, 810. Dug a lot of these as foil. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Hey everybody, Jason here, and we're back at Old Hotel Beach. Got the manticore ready to go. Uh, we're gonna check out some of these bonfire pits and just cherry pick a little bit the tones and maybe hit up in these iceberg plants and then possibly hit the towel line. And if it's super dry, I've got another beach in mind. So let's get out there and see what we can find. Okay, right down in here, we've got a, a chirpy 32. Sounds like trash. Sounds better now. Yeah, sounds good. A little bit of an iron bump. What's that? What in the world is that? It's like a key. It's like a plastic key that's got a little thing of metal in it. That's why it was beeping up like iron. Interesting, okay. That's cool for a first target. That's our first target in. I just started right there. So, uh, cool. There it is. Another garbagey sounding signal. Could be a tent stake. I think it's in the scoop. It is a nice warm day today. Very warm. All right, yeah. It's a piece of hardware right there. 72, 73, my guess is a penny. The way that it sounds, nice and hard signal. Manticore has the hardest time uh, isolating the target. It always, it sounds like it's right underneath the coil and then it's not. Is that just me guys or does anybody else have that issue? Uh, leave your comments down below if you use the Manticore and you have a hard time isolating where the target is because I just have the hardest time. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay, we got it out. And the reason I say that about the Manticore is I never had that problem with the Equinox 800. Okay, we've got a bottle cap here, a nice yellow bottle cap that was uh, ringing up pretty high. There it is. Okay, we're down here by the fire pits. Got a tone here. Right there, 47. A lot of iron and other targets here. Whatever it is, is right here. Oh, guys, it's an earring. All right. That's a good sign. Geez, it almost looks like two earrings in one, but that's kind of an interesting design. Okay, well, it's got an iron chirp to it. That's part right there. It looks like it's going to be rusty iron, but hey, we're on the board for jewelry already. That's a good sign. I haven't even gotten a coin yet. Good stuff. Okay, we just got that earring right there. We got a tone right here, a low tone. 1920. Doesn't sound as repeatable now. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Oh, maybe we had missed it. There we go. Okay, I think it's in the scoop, whatever it is. Get, <laughs> get out of town, guys, look at this. We got a ring. Oh, please have some markings. Oh man, that is a pretty ring. That looks like a fresh drop. Uh, this stone here, I don't know what that is, but it's really pretty. Uh, it looks like it might be costume jewelry, but you know what, it was ringing up low. I don't see any markings in there just yet, but we'll check it out in the wrap up. Right on, we got a ring and an earring right off the, right off the start, guys. This is gonna be a good day. Okay, there we go. Oh, I almost forgot, we'll put it in here. So you uh, can check it out later. Okay, we just got the earring here and the other ring right here. And we got a tone here. 3130, doesn't sound great. 
man, I'm so glad I didn't give up on that other target because I thought it was just going to be a piece of trash. This one very well could be. I don't even think I got it in the scoop. Oh, okay. There it is. It's a piece of iron stuck to the magnet. Okay. Man, I'm still stoked. Two pieces of jewelry in a row. I can pick garbage all day. Right here by the fire pits, we got a target down here. Nice eight. There's so many targets though. Uh, is it a stay fresh? Yes, it is. I've already got one of these today. We'll bag it. Right down in here, we got a we got a high tone jumping up to 89, 88. Still down there. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight. Now it's in the scoop. Okay, we got a coin. This is our first coin of the day, and that is going to be a copper penny. So we'll take that. Forty-seven, forty-eight. Right down in here. It's out. and it's in the scoop. There's people doing that, um, it's like land surfing or land wind surfing. I'm not sure what that's called, but they've got like a, it's kind of like a skateboard with a big sail on it. Where's our target? Okay, it's just gonna be some, uh, some junk metal right there. That's okay. We got a surface find right down here. That's got a beaver tail on it too. We'll save ourselves the hassle of digging it some other time, pick it up today. See that guys, I see an opportunity for some beach karma. There's a lot of beach karma to be had on this beach. There's tons of garbage all over the place. I'll pick it up as I go um, if I'm passing over it, but there we go, we got a uh, squirt, squirt can. I remember that stuff, I haven't had that since I was a kid. Tasty. I don't know if you can see that guys, right there on the surface, sticking out of the sand. Didn't even need the detector for that. That's a penny. We'll take that. Just want to show you guys a scenic view. I did pull this bottle cap here. This is the most common bottle cap, it seems, uh, that I pull at all the beaches is this Smirnoff, so people must like it. 62, sounds good. 63, I don't know, it could be a zinc penny, corroded or Bring it up a little lower. Could be anything though. Oh, it is a coin. And that is a penny. That's a copper penny though, looks like. Oh no, it's a it's a zinc penny. Okay, it's just sun baked. It's a shield penny. Right there guys, we got a quarter, I'm pretty sure. And I hear a coin in the scoop. I don't think we've gotten a quarter yet. All right, new one. Fresh drop. Georgie's looking the other way. Aren't you, Georgie? Check out how gorgeous today is. It's really nice out here. Got a low tone, 810. Dug a lot of these as foil. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hey, you know what? It's got a name on it and it's got a date on it. I wonder if I can get this back to the owner. I don't know if that's gonna be gold, guys. I think it's probably gonna be stainless steel that's plated. Uh, just the way that it's, it looks laser engraved. Usually with gold, they don't laser engrave it. So right on, we got, we got tons of jewelry today so far. There we go. Check it out more in the wrap up. Kayla. It says Kayla on it with a heart. So somebody, somebody must be kind of bummed that they lost this. There we go. See those guys with the sail things. That was pretty cool. They were going to up and down the beach with that. That looks like a lot of fun. I'd like to try that. Anyways, you got a tone down here. Where'd it go? There it is. 2728. Come on, nickel.
Oh, I think I see something. Is it a nickel? Yes, it's a nickel. Uh, let's see, I think that we've hit the cycle now. Unless we need a dime, I think we still need a dime. I might be mistaken, but there's a nickel. That's good. Down in here, it sounds like we got another quarter. Nice solid 88. Oh yeah, I heard something. There it is. Oh yeah, nice and suntanned. They didn't use their SPF 50. It's got a nice tan going on. Had it toned down here, 69. 69 on the line. Oh, now it's a high tone, 77. Probably a penny. Oh, all right, it's a dime. Nice and shiny. We did need that for the cycle, I'm pretty sure. But there it is. We got a dime. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna land at that airport over there. Pretty sweet. A little doggy over there. There's a bunch of dogs over there. So that's the Coronado Dog Beach. A lot of happy dogs on that side of the beach. But we do have a low tone here, bringing up a 27. 27, the, the target trace has a line on it. Could be a nickel, like on its side or something. Okay, it's in the scoop. Doing good on coins, oh yeah, it's a nickel. Goody goody. Just making our way back to the uh, fire pits. There's our little buddy right there. And some pigeons too. I like pigeons. They're a lovable bird. Guys, out of this hole uh, right in here, I wasn't recording because it was a three. I should have been recording, but it does have some iron to it, but we found another ring there. So we are on ring number two and uh, we've got that bracelet and an and, uh, earring as well. So check that out, that's pretty sweet. We will check it out more in the wrap up. Well, out of the basically the same hole as that ring, we've got a 13, 14 out of the hole. I think we got it. There's just tons of other targets. Yep, that's gonna be some melted slaw, can slaw. Got to dig everything around here though. Okay guys, right down in this hole. Sounds like a high tone hitting it, but 95, 94. Okay, it's out. We're gonna have just like a quarter now in the scoop. Yep, it's a quarter. I like quarters, take them all day long. Check that out, guys. That is a fancy schmancy pen. That's pretty cool. That looks like something, I don't know, Ariel or something would have at the beach. That's pretty cool. We'll take that. Okay guys, we're on our way out, but we got a 16 down here. It's getting warm out here. 16, good sound. Come on, gold ring, come on, gold ring. Oh, hey, you know what? It's pretty close. Some gold foil. So this is gonna be our last target for today. I'm gonna head back to the car and I will see you in the wrap up. Got a 61, 62. Doesn't sound so great now. Okay, I think we moved it. My guess is a crusty zinc. And we are on our way out. Oh, guys, it's not, it's not a penny. Yeah, we got another ring. Look at that, it's got some stones on it. Boy, that's been out here for a while. It's all oxidized. Uh, let's see. I don't see any markings. 
So I'm gonna guess it's probably copper or brass or something like that, but that's got some stones on it. That's all right, that's nice and pretty. There we go. Hey, you know what? This is gonna be our last target. I am right here by the, by the exit and I'm gonna head back to the car. It's getting pretty hot out here. So I'll see you in the wrap up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do this wrap up. We did pretty good out there. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna find much. We spent about an hour and a half there in the bonfire pit area. And I did check out the towel line and down by the wet, but we didn't find any targets down there really. Uh, but let's go ahead and just jump right in. In terms of coins, we got a dollar 25 and quarters there. We got two dimes, two nickels, and six pennies. So that was pretty sweet. We did hit the cycle twice. Lots of garbage. Um, I will be throwing most of this away, recycling some of it. Uh, tent stakes, bottle caps, pull tabs. Lots of this stuff too. This is like melted can slaw from the bonfires. So that was uh, kind of obnoxious. We did find this little key right here and I'm not sure exactly what that's for. It's like a spare key uh, that's plastic and it's got a little bit of metal in there. So that was kind of interesting. It was chirping up uh, kind of high. This pen right here, that we found that at the end or towards the end. And it looks like somebody handcrafted that. It's just a little regular Bic pen that's been decorated. I thought it was kind of cool looking though. And then in terms of jewelry, uh, we started off with this earring. We found that earring pretty early on. And unfortunately that is gonna have some rust on there so it's gonna be iron, uh, but that's okay. And then we did find this bracelet. The bracelet says Kayla with a little heart on it and it's got a date on the back. So Kayla, if you happen to be watching, um, just message me and tell me the date on the back and it's yours. And then uh, in terms of uh, rings, we got three rings out there. So I was really excited. This ring right here, uh, that was early on in the hunt and I can't find any markings on there, um, but it does look like some costume jewelry. I'll have to do a scratch test on it. This ring in the middle, um, that one rang up like iron and it stuck to the magnet. And then that third ring there, that was right towards the end. We were on our way out and uh, got this ring. I thought it was gonna be a zinc penny, but it's got little gems on there and things. So I thought that that was pretty neat. And then of course we got a little piece of sea glass there. But anyways, that's about it for the wrap up. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure and hit the like button down below. It helps the channel to grow. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this to come. But until next time, happy hunting.